Well, good evening, everyone, and congratulations to all of our honorees this evening. Thank you to Dave and everybody at NSMA. It never gets old coming here and certainly never take for granted the opportunity to present the Jim Nance Award here at NSMA. And quickly on a side note, I can't see through the glare too well, but I know Carl Hales is over there. It's awesome having you here tonight, Carl. I miss you, man. There you are, Carl. So glad to have you here tonight. I'd like to thank our judges, uh, former Jim Nance Award winners, Josh Chappelle, Adam Cavalier, Alex Faust, Kevin Fitzgerald, Eric Galanti, Nate Gatter, Ross Lipman, and Bill Spaulding. A new judge this year from Westwood One is Howard Denneroff. And when Howard's good friend Tom Bowman learned that Howard had been a judge this year, and Tom has been gracious enough to do it a lot in the past, Tom said, I can't let Howard get a one up on me. So moving forward, starting next year, both Howard and Tom are going to be on our judges panel. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Two years ago, for the Nance Award, we received an application from a sophomore, a very talented sideline reporter and studio host interviewer. She was terrific, but she didn't finish in the honors that year. But I called her because I didn't want her to feel discouraged in any way, not that you know, what we do is gonna make somebody feel good or not about what they do but I wanted to make sure that she remained encouraged because she was very much on the right track. So I called her and shared a couple of suggestions with her. And then I wrote in my notes, has a bright future. I look forward to watching her career unfold. Well, then last year, she didn't even apply for the award. And I thought, well, maybe she decided to change her major or something. So I was so pleased this year when she did apply. And the moment I watched her reel, I told my wife, this happens with some regularity, that's our Jim Nance Award winner. So I would like to introduce to you now, from the University of Notre Dame, just a recently graduated senior, Caroline Pineda. Now, Caroline, before you speak, uh, if you would watch the monitor over there, we have a special message for you. Hello, friends, and hello, Caroline. It's Jim Nance. Just want to tell you how proud I am of what you've done with your career at Notre Dame. I've seen your tape. It's absolutely amazing. No hyperbole here at all. You, uh, you have a, a really warmth, a presence about you, and a professionalism that's gonna take you a real long way. Enjoy the journey, it's been hugely successful so far, and I have no doubt that it's gonna take you to some fascinating places around the world. Congratulations, I could not be more proud to have your name linked with this name on this award. You deserve it so richly, congratulations. Wow. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I would say th I thought that had kind of sunk in, but watching that video makes me realize that that really had not sunk in until now. So um, talk about a name being linked with another name. That is truly such an honor. And I'm so grateful to Jim for uh, letting my name be attached to him in, in some small way. So um, I won't take too much of your time because we have so many wonderful people to hear from tonight, and I'm so excited for that. Um, but I do have a, a few thank yous of my own. Um, first of all, thank you so much to John Chelesnick and the Sportscasters Talent Agency of America. Um, John mentioned the phone call my sophomore year, and uh, it truly was so encouraging. And I, the reason I didn't apply my junior year was not because I wasn't encouraged. It was because I really felt like with another year to improve, I could really show my best stuff, and uh, hopefully that's what I was able to do this year. 
Um, I guess maybe it was, <laughs> since I'm here. <laughs> Um, thank you also to Dave Gorin and the National Sports Media Association for a wonderful weekend. I've looked up to so many of you for so many years and watched you on television, read you, uh, listened to you, and really to be in the same room as you tonight is, is truly incredible. So thank you so much for all being so gracious this weekend and for taking the time to chat with me. Um, my next thank you is to the University of Notre Dame for the best four years I could have ever asked for. Um, I'm a little bit biased, but I do think it's the best school in the country, and if you don't agree, maybe we can chat about that later. Um, but thank you truly to everyone there, Fighting Irish Media, Notre Dame Student Media, and NBC Sports for providing me with so many opportunities throughout my four years in South Bend. Um, I also, I have a few more thank yous, but I just want to tell a quick story. I always love hearing um, about how people got interested in this industry, and so if you don't mind, I'd like to share mine. Um, when I was in fifth grade, I was assigned an independent research project on the topic of my choosing, so a very broad assignment for some 11-year-olds. Um, but I had just seen the movie Secretariat, and I was obsessed with the story, so I decided to do my project on that, and I asked my mom if I could write a letter to Ron Turcott, his jockey. So we looked up his address, and somehow on the internet, a P.O. box in Van Buren, Maine, popped up, um, so I wrote my letter, I asked him some questions about what it was like to win the Triple Crown and, and what it was like to have a movie about that, and I mailed it off. And my mom has since told me that she thought there was no way that he was ever going to answer, but thank you, Mom, for not telling me that at the time. Um, but sure enough, before my presentation, a letter did arrive in the mail addressed to me, and not only had Ron Turcott taken the time to answer all of my questions, but he had included a signed copy of his jockey card and a book recommendation. It was Bill Knack's book on Secretariat um, in case I wanted to learn more. So truly I love that story because I think it encapsulates so much of my experience to this point, which is my supportive mom, who's over there, um, and the rest of my family and all of my friends and the wonderful people that I have in my corner. Uh, my mom is here with me tonight, but there are some people watching the live stream as well, so thank you to all of them too. Um, and then also just the, the willingness of people in this industry to uh, let me listen to them and learn how to be a vehicle to tell people's stories. And then people, beginning with Ron Turcott, but luckily there have been a lot of others who have been gracious enough to let me tell their stories. So thank you so much to all of you and have a great rest of your night. <laughs>